Passion to me is exploring your love for something and just in a completely undaulted way, just throwing yourself into something entirely and I guess just a huge love, a big love, big love. Passion is big love <laughs> for something. My name is Shelley and I am an illustrator and I like to focus on women, naked ladies and colorful, erotic, orgy images. I would define my art style with probably using a lot of bold lines and like block colors and um, I guess just from a young age I've always been into color and um, it just makes me feel like a kid and it makes me kind of just feel happy and good and um, I don't know if you know Kyle Platts but he is my biggest inspiration in the entire world he's like incredible and everything that I do is like mildly inspired by him actually probably inspired in a big way by Kyle Platts um, yeah I have quite a few influences when it comes to my work there's one girl, I'm not actually sure how to say her name, but I know how to spell it. It's like Savoska, C-V-O-S-K-A, and she does a lot of naked women as well, but they're infinitely better than mine, and she you know, has a lot more themes going on in her work. Um, yeah, she's incredible. Also, yeah, Kyle Platts, like I said, he's amazing, and I'd love to go down a similar path to him, so like animation, um, comics, just everything. Yeah, he's fantastic. My favorite New Zealand creatives are, well, definitely Tony Gill. Like, I remember going to this market she was at called The Goods Market a couple of years back and just losing my mind over everything she did. Like, I bought so many prints and she was selling them for so cheap and I was just like, why is she doing this? She's so amazing. And I bought them for all my friends and like, I still see them hanging up in their room now. And, yeah, she's like incredible. Um, totally fangirled and embarrassed myself. Uh, also, one of my friends, Gabby, Gabriella Bowden, she's completely different style of art to me, but like she's taught me a lot about technique and just kind of, just everything. She's just taught me about colors more and kind of just exposed me to a new style as opposed to just sticking in my own niche. So yeah, she's been good. Um, I draw a lot of women, um, particularly nude women, because I feel like making people more aware of bodies and like being comfortable with them is probably a good thing because people are very uncomfortable and weird about nudity and I think it's time we all kind of just suck it up and get over it because that's just that's how you're born, you're naked and you look great and yeah, I just think that exposure to stuff like that's probably not an entirely bad thing. My love for art began quite early on. Um, yeah, when I was really young actually, like just, I was always doodling in like the margins of my books or not really listening to my teachers and kind of just drawing and doodling and not paying attention. And I guess it kind of evolved from there into something I grew to love and actually be very passionate about. Um, so in the future I have an idea of making, well I've been working on it for a while and it's kind of just a very vivid dreamer so every night I have these very intense dreams and I wake up and they can either ruin my day or make it completely wonderful but I've been writing them down and trying to like illustrate them so it's like a, I guess a dream journal but with pictures like an illustrated dream journal zine book thing. So you can find all my art online pretty much just on one platform, which is Instagram. Um, my Instagram is Shelly Botticelli, so it's like, that's not my last name. It's, you know, the artist, Sandra Botticelli. And it rhymes with my first name, so I was like, Shelly Botticelli. <laughs>